Hello everybody, my name is Eli, and as you can see my environment is a bit different, but that's because I just had to tell you about all the complexities of life itself in space. There are about 100 billion- Ugh! So, okay, so it goes like this. We have atoms, okay. Atoms that have their own little past, their own little way of knowing what they're doing. And we have like photons and electrons and positive and negative charges that are just floating around all of these atoms and exchanging even the electrons know that they can they can leave a certain atom and go to another when the time is appropriate so even though things orbiting the atoms have functions of their own now we go to germs germs have little ideas and ways of knowing what to do what to do what exactly is their function missions to serve now you can see there is a clear similarity between these two things germs knowing what to do atoms knowing what to do they're both just going about their natural course and doing it now we take a much bigger step humans human life as a civilization in general each human being has their own complex story each human being does what they do and fulfills their function at the time it's still that same natural flow of life then we move over to even grander scales like let's go to stars in the sky stars are moving through the galaxy at light speed going god knows where fulfilling their own little function because stars are suns warming planets and and supporting potential life that may or may not inhabit these planets which orbit these stars similarly to those photons and electrons orbiting those atoms stars are like atoms look at that the grander things are like the smaller things it's so cool and now even a grander scale galaxies spiraling around each other fulfilling their own little functions as well what do galaxies do they make stars star making machines that's what they do and stars have their own purposes and planets have their own purposes which is to inhabit life when that life has its own purpose that's how we exist is because some random star blew up somewhere and then some asteroid hit the earth and then little germs and atoms went to doing their thing and fulfilling a function until we eventually evolved into an intelligent species because some star out there just exploded out of nowhere like kaboom and the next thing you know it's fulfilling its function by helping a planet exist which was the function of a star in the first place was to support life that a planet may or may not inhabit and thus everything ties together we are the result of the natural steady flow of a constantly moving life of atoms constantly moving of neurons constantly firing of a society constantly moving of stars moving everything is constantly in motion and with that gentle stream of life itself we were able to spawn into existence because of space Space man! It's space! Oh. And yeah. Lost my cool there. So now that I'm done geeking out about that and we understand the natural flow of life, keep that in mind. We are life. We are one with everything. We are one with the stars. So, next time you look in yourself in the mirror, keep that in mind. This has been Eli.